John de Brebeuf and Isaac Joges. John de Brebeuf and Isaac Joges were two prominent French Jesuit missionaries who played a significant role in the early history of New France, now Canada, during the 17th century. Their lives were marked by religious devotion, dedication to their mission, and interactions with Native American tribes. Here's a summary of their lives. John de Brebeuf, 1593-1649 John de Brebeuf was born in Normandy, France, in 1593. He joined the Society of Jesus, Jesuits, and was ordained as a priest in 1622. In 1625, he set sail for New France to be a missionary among the indigenous people and arrived in what is now Quebec. Brebeuf was stationed at various missions throughout New France, but he is best known for his work with the Huron people. He learned their language, culture, and traditions, which helped him to gain their trust. He lived among them, spreading the Christian faith and translating religious texts into the Huron language. He faced many hardships during his missionary work, including harsh weather, famine, and opposition from some within the Huron community who opposed Christianity. Nonetheless, he persevered and was able to convert many Huron individuals to Christianity. Tragically, in 1649, the Iroquois, a rival Native American group, attacked the Huron village where Brebeuf was living. Brebeuf and his companion, Gabriel Element, were captured, tortured, and ultimately martyred. Despite the immense suffering they endured, Brebeuf's faith and commitment to his mission remained unwavering. In 1930, John de Brebeuf was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church. He is remembered for his extraordinary dedication to spreading Christianity among the indigenous people of North America. Isaac Joges, 1607-1646 Isaac Joges was born in Orleans, France, in 1607. He joined the Jesuits and was ordained as a priest in 1636. In 1636, he arrived in New France and was sent to minister to the indigenous people, particularly the Algonquin tribe. He learned their languages and established a mission in what is now present-day Quebec. Joges faced numerous challenges during his missionary work, including harsh living conditions, limited resources, and the ever-present danger of violence from warring indigenous tribes. He earned the nickname Black Robe among the Native Americans due to the distinctive Jesuit cassock he wore. In 1642, Joges, along with his fellow missionaries, was captured by the Mohawk tribe, who were part of the powerful Iroquois Confederacy. He endured brutal tortures, including the loss of several fingers, before escaping in 1643. His escape was facilitated by Dutch traders, and he returned to France. Remarkably, Joges did not let his traumatic experiences deter him from his missionary work. He went back to New France in 1644, continuing his efforts to spread Christianity among the indigenous people. Tragically, in 1646, Joges returned to the Mohawk territory and was killed by a warrior who believed that Joges' presence would bring bad luck to the tribe. Despite his violent death, Joges' commitment to his mission and unwavering faith left a lasting legacy. In 1930, Isaac Joges was also canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church. His life is a testament to the sacrifices and dedication of early Jesuit missionaries in North America. In summary, John de Brebeuf and Isaac Joges were two courageous Jesuit missionaries who devoted their lives to spreading Christianity among the indigenous people of New France. They faced immense hardships, including capture, torture, and martyrdom, but their unwavering faith and commitment to their mission have made them enduring figures in the history of North American Christianity.